Hello everyone and welcome back to another Fortnite Save the World video. Now I know I haven't uploaded in a whole entire month because I took a break. Uh, if you want to check out the video where I announced all that, it will be linked down in the description. But a basic like overview of that is I uh, haven't been uploading because I had this film academy. If you didn't know, I'm going to pursue uh, cinematography and photography as a career. Well, mainly cinematography. Photography is my passion. And so I took that month to go to that class. Um, I'm still going to it, and I've just been starting up, like, my whole photography gig and all that. Uh, if you want to check out all that stuff, like my social medias, my Instagram and my TikTok for that will be down in the description, where on my TikTok I've been doing, like, cinematography, and on my Instagram I've been posting my photos. Yeah, and I don't know how often I'm going to be uploading. I'm not going to be uploading daily like I was before. Also, thank you, everyone, because when I jumped on uh, today on my YouTube channel, which I haven't been on in a while... I noticed that my Spectral Blade video down here has 160 views now, which is just insane. Thank you, everyone. But without any further ado, I'm going to be reviewing the... This way. Massamoon. <laughs> uh, and so, this is an insanely good weapon. But before I get into that, let's talk about how it looks. So, I really love the design on it. I love that. It looks just like a little pistol minigun it has a little 9 volt battery i love that little detail right there this weapon is extremely good before i go into talking about all that i'm going to show you guys the perks for it so here are the perks i put on mine first i have a crit rating then a magazine size then energy then critical damage damage to afflicted targets my sixth perk is causes affliction damage for six seconds and let's just read this down here SMG, special, has a really fast firing SMG with a large magazine that dishes out ridiculous damage at short to mid range, offset by poor accuracy, extreme ammo consum consumption, and a brief spin up time before firing. Now, I just wanted to point out right here that just starting off without any fire rate perks, it has a 16.2 fire rate. Now, you are able to to put another fire rate perk on it, but I would not recommend it because it already has an extremely high, the highest fire rate in the game on any weapon right now. And making it go any higher would just be an overkill and it would basically just have you run through ammo non-stop. And of course it can be any of the elements and I have mine as 130 Sunbeam. Okay, so this is the hero loadout I'm gonna be running with this build. So let's just get right into that. In Commander, I have Beetle Jess. Uh, with make it count plus so increase my pistol and smg damage by 225 percent then for my team perk i've totally rocking out so rock and rift also increases my critical rating by 160 decays over eight seconds and heals 73.75 base health then my support i have fumble so that eliminated enemies have a seven percent chance to fumble a football Football's Grant Rock and Rift, that increases my damage by 50%, melee attack speed by 32%, decays over 8 seconds. I then Breakbeat Wildcat, so eliminating 10 enemies in 9 seconds, Grant's Rock and Rift, increases damage by 50%, and melee attack speed by 32%, decaying over 8 seconds. Then I have Six Shooter, so increases my pistol damage by 20%, impact by 25% for the first 6 shots in the magazine. I then I have Hip Shot, so increase my pistol and SMG damage by 17%. I then locked and reloaded. So after reloading, it'll increase my weapon damage by 15% for 5 seconds. Then of course, I have stationary hover turrets and adrenaline rush, so let's jump right into the gameplay of this mission. And so I'm going to jump into this 124 story encampment mission. It is a lightning storm, but I have this as energy, so it should work. If you want to know all about the elements, the link for that video will be down in the description. My element guide, it will explain all the elements, what they do, all that. But without further ado, let's get right on into the gameplay. Okay, so I'm in the mission and I have the monsoon right here. That's how it looks in game. It looks pretty good. And as you can see, it has 105 magazine size with the magazine size perk that I have on it. This is the weapon's startup. It takes that long to start up, which is pretty slow, but it's worth it for the amount of damage that this thing just pumps out. But I'll show you the fire rate too, right here. You can see how extremely fast that fires it is the fastest firing weapon in the game uh, now I'll show you the reload it's pretty slow but it's worth it for a weapon that has a hundred and five magazine fires that fast and pumps out a ton of damage so the first encampment that we have right here try out on the mist monster 
and you can see how it's just pumping out damage onto them. It's really hard to aim with this weapon though, since the spread is crazy, so I like using it more for close range combat. I'm also pretty sure that it's one of the highest damaging SMGs in this game too. Now since it is a slow reload and a slow startup, I have my Sans little helper and my third slot to help me out. As you can see right there, it did kind of get annoying when you're trying to kill a single enemy and you have to wait for that whole startup. But I'd recommend having something really powerful like my Sans little helper in my third slot because when I'm in a tight situation where I am on low on health and there are tons around me, I can't, I don't have time to start up. So I'll just pull out something more powerful like my Sans little helper. You can see we just shred through these mist monsters and all these enemies extremely well. If we did have that fire rate perk, it would increase our startup time, but it would also just still shred right through our ammo like nothing because it already is shredding through my ammo like nothing and I don't want it to do that anymore. Yeah, but we're doing some really high damage to these enemies. And remember, this is an energy weapon. If I wanted to do the optimal amount of damage to these uh, nature enemies right here, I'd be using water. Excuse me, I meant fire against the nature enemies I don't know what I was talking about. So we have a smasher here. Now, I'm doing some really good damage to him. I just like destroyed right through him. Uh, it did take a while. I mean, I had there are weapons that would destroy through him a lot, a lot faster. But this one is also just insane. You can see it just shred through these crowds. This is a weapon that I'd even use up in the 140 zones because of how good it is. Uh, well, actually, okay, maybe. For the damage that it does, yes, I would. For the fire, for the time that it takes to start up, no, I wouldn't. So it's kind of personal preference for if you'd use this in 140. It would work absolutely amazing in the 140s. It's just how do you feel about the startup time that really brings this weapon to eh. So I think I'm going to give you my final thoughts on this weapon and then I'll end the video about here. So final thoughts, amazing weapon, amazing. If you have it, definitely pick it up. It's something that's in the collection book uh, in the that you can pick up right now for just flux or you can get out of any llamas. I'd 100, 100% upgrading it, no matter what power level you are. So yeah, definitely pick up this weapon. That'll be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out, everyone. Thank you guys so much for watching the video today. I hope you enjoyed. If you liked the video, please consider going down and hitting the like button down below. If you want to see more Save the World content from me, please consider subscribing. That'll mean the world to me. If you want to see me live, you can go check out my Twitch channel. The link for that will be down in the description. You can jump over there and ask me any questions in chat and I'll try my best to answer them. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. That'll be it. Peace out.